welcome to Craft Little Things, I'm Andrea, thanks for joining me today. There's a little bit of a sun issue going on, casting shadows, but it's just so nice to have sun rather than dark, dreary skies. It's probably going to change quite a lot as well because the clouds are moving at a rapid rate. Um, yeah, so it's quite sort of intermittent cloud, but they're moving really fast, so yeah, we'll just do what we can. Right, so... Positive to paper craft, three I'm just going to find those. Um, I'm just going to find the challenges for you. So, this is the challenge album here. This is the first one, which has got like a, a grid of some sort and some flowers and sentiment. And then we've got this one, which is a landscape card with a heart and the stripes and things. I thought that might be good considering it's Valentine's Day. It's flickering a bit on the screen. I don't know if it is on the recording. And then this one with the little six circles around and the sentiment. I thought that'd be interesting to see how people interpret that. So, yeah, so I'm making those three Doing cards them right now, today. Now, because I've waffled on for a long time, what I'll do is I will have put a link uh, at the beginning of this video. I would have said, you know, to jump forward to tutorials for the cards. Um, you know, put, I'll put a timestamp in so you can go and find the actual tutorial. So hopefully you've missed all this out if you didn't want to listen to it all. Um, I'll also put a link below to Positive Papercraft. And also, let me see if this works, but some people have difficulty um finding the um where the album is so if you want to play along um imagine this is on the phone this is um how it comes up the phone comes up you'll see here there's discussions chats announcements this is a scroll bar photos events files and albums so you just click on albums files is where there's all rules and things like that where the for sale album uh, no the for sale albums in an album but where there's information about Anne's kits and things like that are there and then in albums your top one is February sketch challenge and you just go in there and you, you add your photo by clicking there add photos you add your photo you write what you want to write about it you save it and um, you move away. See already there's lots of lovely entries in there. Um, so there's lots of inspiration. People are starting to make Easter cards. There's Valentine's cards in there at the moment. Um, let me just, if we go back, you see there's Sketch Challenge week five, week four, week three. So they're all the challenge albums from January and you're welcome to go and add to those as well. So um, hopefully that's helped. So the first one I'm going to do then, oh, before that, I've got another card thing I wanted to show you. This is my um, hashtag simple stamping um, entry for this month. Um, every month, Stamping Up runs a little challenge, a little fun challenge to encourage, pe encourage people to make more simple cards, cards that are where the, the focus is on the stamping and not all the, there's no embellishments, there's little else used and what they do is they give you a theme this month it's a birthday and they tell you you can use um another you can use like a an extra tool or piece of kit and this month it is you can use a piece of dsp um and so i use this from needlepoint nook i thought it was really cute um knight of navy and white like a, a cross stitch sampler and I used the freebie Hello Cupcake, is it? Yeah, Hello Cupcake stamp set. Um, just stamped Celebrate Your Day in Night Navy. And I used the little flower stamp from that set. And I just stamped sort of three times to get different sort of tones for the Night and Navy. Um, if you want to join in with that, it's hashtag, just share your card on social media, hashtag simple stamping. And you can, I think they choose 100 people each month to win a prize um i won a prize last month i don't know what it is yet i'll find out next week um but yeah so it, it's to get people just just stamping basically sometimes i think people can be i know i get a little bit intimidated sometimes by uh these really elaborate cards i, I love them 
don't get me wrong, I do love them and I'm in awe. When I receive them, I'm like, craggy, the work that's gone into that. But I wouldn't know where to start with making them. So <clears throat> I'm all about getting people just doing what they can do and building up from there. Um, so, yeah, simple stamping is right up my street. Um, so this is my little entry. It's just a four by four. And like I said, this is um, current stamping up needle nook um, paper. Okay, so um, the first one I said I was going to do, I'm actually not going to do that one first. The first one I'm going to do is the one with the circles on it. And this one I'm keeping really super, super, super simple. And for each of these, I'm just using, in the interest also of use what you have, the hashtag use what you have movement to use up your stash. I'm still using up these card blanks that I um, picked up before Christmas. These are four by sixes, more or less, just over four and just under six. Um, so I'm still using those. I've taken so one of those the freebie foil papers from the celebration um, from Stamping Up. Um, if you don't know what that is, very quickly, um, Stamping Up do an annual um, giveaway where for every £45 you spend, you can pick a free item. And that might be a stamp set, it might be some papers, it might be some foils, it might be some embellishments whatever um and the past two years this year and last year they've done um 90 pound spend items which have included things like dies and much larger stamp sets um so this at the moment you get four sheets i think it is of 12 by 12 you get the um berry burst and the grapefruit grove so it's like an orangey color and a really shocking pink so what I've used for this is I've used my one and three eighths scallop punch and I've also used my one and one eighth scallop punch and I've printed out a disc of the foil, uh, punched out a disc of the foil and then I've printed out a flower from the current um, spring summer catalogue, one of the stamped out flowers there. using the smaller punch um, onto just random flowers from the DSP which is really lovely it's got some foiling on it really cute and then what I've used I've used this gorgeous new punch which is coming out this will be available to customers in March 1st March and this is part of the celebration coordination range these are things you can buy that go with the celebration freebies um, so I've used that and I've printed out I've, I've punched out two, two from the foil and then one just whisper white cardstock no this isn't whisper white cardstock this is white cardstock that I cut off uh, another card um, I cut a card down to a 4x4 four four and the bit of card that was left at the bottom I used for this um, so I stamped sweet wishes again from hello cupcake and that um, I stamped out using um, was it Berry Burst? I think I used Berry Burst ink, yeah. So, I'm going to just stick all this together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these onto the foil discs with dimensionals, I think. Um, not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet. But I thought maybe if I put three, because there's six discs, I think. If I pop three on where I pop the flower onto the background with a dimensional and three where I pop the dimensional on the back of the, the foil disc that might look quite nice so my dimensionals look on a bit skew with so I've got three flowers that are the same here so I'm going to make those my flowers that I pop on like that. They're really nice those, it's just, just worked out right that they fit nicely into that punch. Don't you just love it when that sort of thing happens? And then I've got two similar here and then one different one, but that, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do with those ones is I'm going to put my um, dimensional on the back of the foiled piece rather than on the back of the 
flower and then I'm going to glue the flower on So we've just got that little bit of difference there going on with some being, um, I'm going to stick on my dimensionals and some I'm not going to stick on my dimensionals. So I'm going to just pop one there and then I'm going to have these like so. And then I think I'll stick those in between like that. And just have that extra one coming down the side there. And then my sentiment I'm going to put here. Okay. There we go. So the bottom of the card's a bit empty. I don't know if it looks if it looks like it needs something, but I'm staying true to the sketch, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um I do think it's fairly pretty. And sometimes we're, te we're tempted to fill every bit of white space and sometimes we don't need it filling. That is a really pretty card when you see it standing up. Isn't it funny how cards look different when they're standing up to when they're lying down? I often find that when I'm photographing them, I think when it's lying down it looks a bit, it doesn't look as nice as when it's standing up as it's supposed to be. I don't know what, I don't know if anyone else has ever noticed that, it's just me being weird. But anyway, there you go. So that's really cute and that's the first one. So now I'm going to do the next one which is, oh this is the one with the heart. Now what I'm doing for this is I'm using again the same in, in the um, spirit of hashtag use what you have and using up your stash rather than keeping it. I'm using one of the same bases. And then what I'm using for this one is um, a piece of this holographic sort of striped foil, which is from Kanban um, range. Um, and that's just a quarter of an inch smaller than the card. And then I'm using a piece of this super gorgeous, look at that, absolutely gorgeous um, DSP from the same um stack as the flowers I used for the last card so that's going on there that's just half inch smaller and then again I've got a strip from a card that I'm cut down to a four by four and a strip of the same beautiful um DSP. give exact measurements I will let me just um do that so the card base is five and seven eighths by four and an eighth the silver base is five and three quarters by four. Sorry if it's glaring a little bit. Look at the gorgeous colours that come through on that. But then the thing is you put the pink next to it and it sort of absorbs the pink. And it turned green then, just to make me look full. Um, and then this is five and a half by three and three quarters. And then this strip of white is one and a half by five and a half and then the little strip is three quarters by five and a half and then what I did was one of the designs has these beautiful in this in this DSP stack has these beautiful heart shapes made of roses so I just fussy cut one of those and I just fussy cut a little white backing for it just slightly bigger than the flower itself and that's going to be stuck on there I'm not going to have the square behind my heart that's in the sketch so I'm choosing to miss that out and then in the middle of the heart I was thinking of popping one of these um, retired stamping up little embellishments but I don't know if I'm going to or not now I don't know if I need if I need it or not and then what I've do, done is, using the same foil here, I've used a little die that says thank you. Um, I, th I, I don't even know where I got it from. I think I might have got it um, from like eBay or something. I, I can't even remember. But it's a little die that says thank you. And I'm going to just stick those together just to give them a little bit more depth. And then I'm just going to pop those on there. 
Right, <clears throat> that's that one then. So that's that's my second card for the sketch challenge. Look at that in the sunshine. It's beautiful, sparkling and gorgeous. Okay, very simple but very cute and effective. And I need a thank you card for somebody. So that's going to go in there with them, to them. So that's going to be really useful. Right, on to the last one then. Um, so the last one is the one with the, the grid and the flowers. So what I'm doing here is I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm using another one of the um, card bank blanks that I had. I'm just going to check the... Yeah, in the sketch, it's a landscape card, um, a portrait card, and I'm making it as a landscape card. And what I'm going to do is I'm using Tranquil Tide and I'm using Abstract Impressions, I think it is, um, DSP from Stampin' Up. Um, if that's not what it is, I'll, I will put what it is above. And then I'm using some of this wood um, DSP. And what I've used here is I've used the crates framelits, um, the wood crate framelits, but what I've done is I've just cut away... I've used one section and I've just cut away the bits I didn't need just so I ended up with a crate like this. And I'm going to raise that up on um, dimensionals. And then I'm going to put some foliage in behind. This is from the, I think this is Mayflowers Framelits. Yeah, the Mayflowers Framelits, which I think are still current. Um, and then I've made, and I've used, again, using up, use what you have. These are bits that I had lying around. In fact, this was in the bin, ready to be thrown out, ready to go to recycling. Um, and I thought, oh, no, hang on, I can use that. So I cut a couple of the leaves, I'm going to stick in the crate, and then I've done the flowers. I'm just going to give them that two-layer there. Um, and then I'm going to put one of the metal rim pearls in the side. And then I used a smaller flower die, and I cut one of Fresh Fig cardstock and one of the DSP and... I'm going to put that inside and then for the sentiment I've just got a little piece of Tranquil Tide a little piece of the same DSP and then I've just used um, Gorgeous Grape and stamped um, Hello which is from a little sentiment set that I got in a freebie so that's this one so I'm going to build this up now so again we're starting off with the same um, base is four and one eighth and five and seven eighths and then the tranquil tide section is five and three quarters by three and seven eighths the paper is five and five eighths by three and five eighths and then that's it that's uh, maybe you might need to know the um, measurements for this this is uh, one and five eighths by one and a quarter. This is one and a half by one and an eighth. And this is one and a quarter by seven eighths. Okay. So I'm just going to build this up then. So I'm going to put my tranquil tide layer on. So that's a little bit of a less literal interpretation of the design of the sketch. Um, so that's, yeah, so my mat and lay is a little bit off there, a little bit skew with. Um, but yeah, you get the basic idea. I think that's really pretty. Um, be nice adapted to the sort of springtime as well with little springtime sort of cut and nice pastels and stuff. Um, so yeah. They are my three interpretations of the three sketches for February. Um, I can't win, um, but I might, if I have time, I might pop some more um, entries in. Um, but feel free to come and join in and have a go. 
with all the other positive repair crafters, the group's gone crazy. It's like more than doubled in um, in size um, in the past few weeks, um, which is why Anne needs a bit of a hand with it. And it's my pleasure to help out. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. And um, we'll see who submits the most in February. So, um, happy crafting and, um, yeah, have a good weekend. Take care.